Okay, so today I'm going to be showing y'all how to replace the screen on a Garmin Forerun Forerunner watch. And we're going to start off um, by adding heat to the front of the glass. Uh, I used this heat gun. Um, you can use a blow dryer. It should work just as well because the adhesive behind it is not too strong. Uh, so just heat it up until it's hot to touch. You don't want to overheat it. There is a plastic bezel around it. So if you heat it up too much, you are going to warp that bezel. Um, yeah, so I use a little pry tool here and on the side I have a little bit of alcohol so on my pry tool I put a little bit of alcohol and it helps it slide all around the edges and just breaking the seal and it just pops up so it's not too difficult to to, to get the glass up you just to be careful not to slide your pry tool way, t uh, way too deep in there or else you're gonna damage a ribbon cable or some other stuff that you could damage um, it's pretty straightforward and then remove this little piece of adhesive and that's holding down the connector for the LCD okay now that we remove this little piece of adhesive little piece of tape we can begin unplugging the LCD connector now use a uh, plastic spudger tool a little little spudger tool don't use metal because you could short something out plastic's always better and there's a little bit of adhesive in the back of the LCD cable just go ahead and remove that okay so this next step is gonna be very very important make sure to clean up all the old adhesive left behind um, you don't want to leave anything behind so when you add the new seal the new um, uh, the new adhesive you use if you're using double-sided tape or you're gonna use B7000 which is what I prefer um, it, the, the glass makes a perfect contact with the frame and you don't have any little bit of bubbling or anything in the bottom that pushes the LCD up it's especially important with these watches because people who usually have these watches are people who are outdoors and they run and they run in the, in, in the rain you want to make sure that there's somewhat of a water seal back in there you can't promise that this is going to be water resistant or waterproof but you gotta let the customer know that you can do your best to make sure that it is water resistant to the best of your abilities and here I'm using a little bit of alcohol to clear all of the residue left behind okay now the step is to plug in the new LCD okay now we have a connection use your finger just to make sure that it is seated properly and that there it's connected and you can feel the difference if it's connected it's not going to wiggle if it's connected it's, just, it's a solid contact I just double and triple check to make sure it's it's in there properly and let's turn it on just to double check to make sure this LCD is working and it is the last thing you want to do is put it together and the LCD is not working you have to do it all over again so always make sure to test the part okay and make sure to, pl to put this uh, little piece of tape over it there's no shielding behind this connector so you gotta make sure that um, this little piece of tape it's on there just to make just to give it a little uh, confidence that it's going to secure that connection and this is why cleaning the the frame is so important because we're going to add adhesive to it uh, in this case I'm using a B7000 adhesive and you want to make sure that the adhesive and the glass and, and they both make contact properly and then when it's ready to cure it's making a good seal um, if you leave anything behind it will not make a good seal and that's where water starts to rush in And at this step, we're pretty much done. Just gonna make sure that it's it's seated in there properly. And it is a little bit messy. The adhesive can be a little bit messy, um, but you're gonna clean it up with alcohol a little bit later, and it should it's gonna look just fine. And 
just give a little bit more pressing down to make sure it's it's in there properly okay so at this point I use rubber bands to keep everything in place and that way when the adhesive is curing um, the glass is not moving um, and it creates a, a good seal I recommend leaving it for about an hour to two hours I would say about two hours um, and it should cure properly it says 24 hours but in two hours it should be enough where it's not coming off at this point the repair is pretty much done um, all you have to do is um, clean off uh, the remaining residue from the adhesive Let's use a little bit of alcohol for that um, yeah so hopefully this was helpful for y'all if you have any questions just leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible and try to be helpful. Uh, yeah, you're all set. Have a good one.